In science, often when talking about living things and their environments, we hear the term biodiversity, and it's an important concept to understand. So, let's take a closer look at what this term means. The word bio comes from the Greek word for life, while diversity means variety. So, biodiversity essentially refers to the variety of life. It's not just about how many organisms live in an area, but about how many different kinds of organisms there are. For instance, a forest with many kinds of plants, such as trees, shrubs, ferns, grasses, and moss, has high biodiversity, even if the total number of plants isn't extremely large. On the other hand, a field with only one type of grass might have millions of individual plants, but its biodiversity is very low because it lacks variety. So, Biodiversity is all about the variety of life in a particular area, and it exists even in small, everyday places like our backyards. Let's compare two types of home gardens to understand biodiversity in action. First, imagine a garden that's mostly a neatly trimmed lawn with a single type of flowering bush. It's tidy and simple, but it doesn't offer much variety. You might see a few bees buzzing around or the occasional bird stopping by, but it's not very biodiverse because it provides limited food and shelter for different species. Now, picture a different garden filled with a mix of fruit trees, vegetable plants, flowering shrubs, wildflowers, grasses, and even a small pond with scattered water lilies. This type of garden teems with life not just because of the great variety of plants, but also due to the diversity of animals it supports. Like bees, butterflies, ladybugs, frogs, dragonflies, fish, and birds. Together, the variety of plants in the pond create a rich habitat that supports a wide range of species. These two gardens demonstrate how biodiversity works. The more variety there is in the environment, the more life it can support. Biodiversity is influenced by several factors, including the availability of water, sunlight, temperature, shelter, and the overall conditions of an area. Plenty of water and sunlight allow plants to thrive, creating food and shelter for a wide variety of animals. Areas with these abundant resources and mild conditions typically support high biodiversity. While extreme environments often limit life to specially adapted organisms. For example, tropical rainforests with their plentiful sunlight, consistent rainfall and dense vegetation are among the most biodiverse places on earth. These conditions enable a rich variety of plants to grow, which, in turn, provide food and habitats for countless animals and other organisms. The tropical rainforest supports a vast array of insects and other invertebrates, colorful birds, various amphibians and reptiles, as well as mammals like jaguars, monkeys, and sloths. Fungi, such as mushrooms, often grow on the rainforest floor, recycling the remains of dead plants and animals back into the diverse ecosystem. In contrast, deserts, with their scorching temperatures, scarce water, and limited plant life, support far fewer species. Organisms like camels, snakes, Lizards and hardy shrubs are adapted to survive in these harsh conditions, but the overall biodiversity remains much lower than in a rainforest. 
These examples show how environmental factors shape the variety of life in different ecosystems. Finally, let's consider the biodiversity of Antarctica versus tropical coral reefs. Antarctica, the driest place on the planet and a land of ice and cold, has tough living conditions. Yet it isn't entirely lifeless. Fish, penguins, seals, migrating whales, and microscopic plankton make up some of its limited biodiversity. However, when compared to tropical coral reefs, Antarctica's biodiversity is much lower. Coral reefs, often called the rainforests of the sea, are among the most biodiverse places on Earth. These vibrant underwater ecosystems thrive in warm, shallow waters with abundant sunlight. The coral-filled environment creates a wealth of habitats and food sources for countless species, including thousands of fish and sharks. Crustaceans like crabs and lobsters, octopus and squid, sea turtles, and marine mammals such as dolphins. This rich variety of life makes coral reefs a vital and flourishing part of our planet's marine ecosystems. Biodiversity is vital for maintaining healthy ecosystems and a thriving planet. By understanding what biodiversity is, what affects it, and appreciating the incredible variety of life in different places, we can see why protecting it is essential for the health of all living things. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this learning journey, don't forget to like and subscribe and join us for more adventures into the world around us.